Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, we will be looking into post request and how we can create a token. So today we will be looking into one of the site uh, named Restful Booker, which is hosted on Heroku app. Okay, this is the website. Okay. And we are going to make use of the API documentation, which is there on this particular website. I will be placing the links, all the links in the uh, video description. Okay, so this is a RESTful Booker API. It's just a simple booking uh, uh, API, okay, which we will make use of. Here it is giving us an option of creating token. Okay, getting the booking by IDs, getting all the booking ID, uh, bookings, creating booking, updating booking, partial update booking, and then delete booking. Okay, so let's first understand this documentation in more detail. Okay, so these documentations are very helpful in API testing. Okay, so the version you see here is this means that. This is the first version of the API. Suppose there is a change in the API uh, request, whether it is a, uh, uh, or the, the endpoint itself, the how the payloads are sent. So those are versioned, okay? So that uh, it does not create a confusion. Suppose I want to make use of a newer version. So I just uh, change this uh, from here and then I can make use of it. Currently on this website, only one, uh, one version is available. That is 1.0.0. Okay. So if you scroll down a little bit, this says this auth create token. Okay. So what it will do is that it is going to create the authorization token for these two particular requests for put and delete. So if we are uh, uh, making a, a request of put type or the delete type, uh, we need authorization token. So, uh, and then we have this endpoint which we, we can hit to get the uh, get the uh, the token itself. Okay, and note that this is a post request. Okay, and this is the collaboration. We will make use of some of this information. Okay, so just for your information, this is the header uh, which we need to uh, pass on when we are hitting this endpoint. And this is the payload which we need to send, which is your body. Okay, so it, it is same here. The header is content type. Okay, it's the type of string. Okay, then request body will have your username, password, and then you will get the success code as two hundred with your uh, token in the uh, response body. So let's try this out. Uh, let me pick this. You are I from here, okay, and go to Postman. Uh, let me create a new collection here. Let me click on this, select collection, and name this as RESTful. Okay, and here then let me add a request. Uh, let's say create. Token. Okay, so this is our request. Okay, you need to change this default uh, request type, which is get it is showing now. And now we have to make this as post. Uh, I have to enter the URI. Okay. And so in this website, we have seen that the header, we need to pass it as a content type. Okay, and then the body will have username and password. Okay, let me pick the body from here. Okay, and paste it in the body. The, the default value will be selected as none. I have to select raw, and then from this particular drop down, I have to select JSON. Okay, let me paste this. So it will have your username and then password. Okay. And the beauty of the uh, the Postman tool is that it will automatically, as soon as you have added the body as a JSON, okay, it will automatically add the header as well, okay, which is content type of application JSON. So this is what we we needed here, right? Okay, 
So now you are ready. Okay, let me hit this send button. Okay, there you go. So you, you got status code as 200. It took 1075 millisecond. Okay, and this is the token uh, which we got in response body. Okay, so uh, as a tester, uh, uh, when you are testing this particular payload, or even if you are a developer, you want to test your payload. Okay, what are the different combinations you can try? Okay, so documentation say that it is a post request. Suppose uh, by mistake, I'm trying to uh, hit some other uh, request time, let's say delete, okay, with this endpoint, okay, well, allow me, not fun, okay. Uh, and suppose uh, I am trying to hit a wrong uh, URI, what, what error response I get here, let's say, not found again. So this endpoint also is not found. <clears throat> Uh, suppose uh, I am going to hit this URI without payload. Okay, let's say I do it none. Okay, and then send it. It is going to say that uh, it's a bad credential because we have not provided the credentials here. Okay, let's go back to raw here. Okay, and see if suppose I uh, deliberately uh, input the wrong password. Let's say I add a simple text here. Let's say this. Okay, it's a bad credential. Okay, so these are some of the tests which you can do uh, in Postman to validate your endpoint. Okay, uh, we will learn about variables in the upcoming videos. How I can store the the, the token uh, in a variable so that I can make use of it in a next request. Suppose I'm logging in and then I have to perform some action. Okay, so uh, how I can make use of this token from one request to another request, how I can store the data, all this we will learn in variable when we are talking about variables. Okay. Thanks for watching this video.